Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 21 and 22, where it is written. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. A voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You know what? This I love this reading. For coming up uh, this Sunday, January 7th, you'll see the Christmas stuff's put away. We're back into normal time. And this Sunday, we celebrate the baptism of Jesus. And so many people say it's just a symbol. I don't think so. Well, show me in the Bible, chapter and verse, when it says baptism is more than a symbol. Right here today's reading. Luke 3, 21 and 22. Could a symbol rend the heavens open? Could a symbol have the Holy Spirit descending on the Lord himself? Could the voice of the Father say, you are my beloved son? Could a symbol do any of those things? I don't think so. So when we look at our own baptism, we realize the Lord in touching the waters consecrated the waters that we were baptized with to make us his children. It's not a symbol for the reasons I just gave. And then there's the matter of historical evidence that prior to the 16th century, no Christian anywhere at any time thought it was anything, did not think it was a symbol at all. And so baptism is where our life in the Lord begins. And uh, many people need to be reminded that's not where our life in the Lord ends either. It continues on in the life of the church. And the good news is, even if someone doesn't have the proper understanding of baptism, it's still valid. And hopefully in time, the Holy Spirit will guide them to truth and all truth, including what baptism is. The point is, in baptism, we belong to God. We are his. And it's not like we're baptized and we're dead and we're in heaven that moment. It's the beginning of our earthly life. And from our earthly life will come our heavenly life. But God's grace to us is amazing. Water is a real object, object you can touch and verify with your senses. And in water, he claims us. And the scriptures are so rich. Uh, you know, the Red Sea, when the Israelites crossed, they went through water and began their new lives music or poetry. You start a theme, let it go, pick it up later. That's what baptism is. Not a symbol, but a very real thing. Our Lord began his ministry, and we begin our lives in him in baptism. And it just rhymes. It's over and over and over. So that being said, we can trust our baptismal promises and pray that God keeps us in the baptismal promise until we see him face to face. Let us close with prayer. Lord, thank you for our baptism. Thank you for our life in you. And Lord, keep us with you eternally. Amen.